everyone. Um, so I've just got back from hospital for the second day in a row that I've been to emergency. Um, yesterday was Sunday, the 16th of July, and in the morning I had a massive episode of SVT or something, a, a massive heart arrhythmia. Uh, it, was, it spasmed up and then it started going about 200 beats a minute for about four to five minutes. Uh, no one was here, so I couldn't get any help. Um, called the ambulance, they came, got me, uh, went to emergency. My parents came in later. Um, they didn't catch the arrhythmia while it was happening, so they couldn't see what it was. Um, anyway, I uh, hadn't slept all night the night before, and if you know that if you have ME, CFS, you know how bad it is to miss a night's sleep, let alone with an arrhythmia in between and going to, and trips to hospital where it's bright and noisy. Um, staff were, some of them were okay, some weren't. Um, they didn't admit me, I have no idea why, because my ME, CFS has gotten more severe than it's ever been in my life. I'm um, finding it hard to breathe, hard to stand up, hard to do anything at all. And um, I, don't, I don't know how sick you have to be in Australia to, to get help. Like, I mean, I've got ME, CFS, like a lot of people do, but I've also got this gut problem now. My heart's going weird. And with all of that, uh, you'd think they would put me in to try and do something about it, but apparently not, because this is the second time in a row that I've just been sent home. Dreadfully weak, shaky inside cold, weak. Um, i got no idea what's going on. I've got no idea what to do. My GP's trying to help me get to Sydney, but I'm just getting worse with every day, so I'm so over it, eh? I'm so over it. I wish the Australian medical system would do something about this, because I don't know how long I can keep going like this.